Hi Gemini, welcome to what's happening with the ex. Right now we're gonna take a look at the current situation with your ex partner and find out what's going on with them, kind of where they stand. Hopefully they've grown and something new is coming. And then we're going to look at their hopes and fears. We will also switch over to Vimeo and look at what is blocking them, the advice and the outcome, as well as a little piece of what's to come in the next couple few weeks. So, okay. We have the Ace of Swords, the King of Cups, and the Two of Wands. So the Ace of uh, Swords is about truthful communication coming through. This can also indicate um, legal issues, but what I'm hearing for this particular uh, group, it's about communication coming through, a new beginning based on communication. The King of Cups is a person who has actually learned to open up emotionally. This person's all about love. Love, 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 love. <laughs> I love love. Um, and this is about a person who can give and take love. Very romantic very much an authoritative individual though okay now the two of wands is about making a decision and taking action it's choosing a path to go so right now your partner your ex is looking at coming forward initiating this communication but they're trying to figure out how they want to do this okay are they going to go this way? Or are they going to go this way? So they're looking at the details, wondering where is this going to go? What am I going to do? Now, this person <clears throat> lives at a distance from you. Yeah, they live at a distance from you. And what I'm hearing is it's actually um, more of a, a, a few three to four hour drive at least if they don't live overseas or over, over in a different state, a different country, it's a, it's a far drive, okay? Yeah, this person, your ex was dealing with somebody else, okay? And emotionally, they were tied to somebody, which made them emotionally shut down from you. They they couldn't give you what you wanted, so they withdrew from you. They pulled back because they were focused on the emotional attachment they still had with another person. I don't see or hear that there is another person physically in their life. It's the emotional attachment. This was a situation where your partner was dealing with somebody that they, they had been with for a very long time, years, okay? This was a soulmate to them, and you are as well, because we have more than one soulmate in our life, right? But they have chosen to walk away from that emotional attachment. What I'm seeing is they were hoping that their ex-partner would reconsider and want them back. Or vice versa. But what they're looking at right now is walking toward you because they see who you are. They recognize that, um, that connection between the two of you and they want to communicate the truth and they are going to tell you the truth. Now what they're going to tell you is that they were emotionally attached to this other person and they are going to be open as all get out. I mean seriously open. Now they may have had some legal issues that they had to wrap up but during that process they were hoping that their ex-partner would change their mind and return and they could become a family unit again. But they've made a decision. Your ex made a decision to walk away from that person, to let it go. And now they're just looking at, how do I get to you? How do I come to you? Am I gonna do it this way? Am I gonna do it this way? I guarantee they're probably worried. Of, let's see what their hopes and fears are, okay? Okay, 
So they are definitely thinking of you. This is the Six of Cups. This is the soulmate card, okay? It's one of the soulmate cards. This is about happy thoughts of the past. It's about remembering all the good things. It also indicates a person from the past coming back. Now we have the Three of Swords. This can indicate the other person where they were emotionally attached to somebody else. But what I'm hearing, and then we have the Hermit, going within, listening to the inner guidance within ourselves. What I'm hearing for your ex-partner is they're hoping that you have not moved on and you are not in a relationship. So they're worried that you've already met somebody else, but they're hoping that you haven't and that the, you guys can come together and actually celebrate. So they're trying to go within to get some inner um, guidance from within. Their gut is telling them whether they should move forward, whether they should go in a different direction. How are they going to, what path are they going to take? So now what we're going to do, if you click the link below, we'll shoot over to Vimeo. We will take a look at what is blocking your partner, what the outcome and the advice is for your partner, as well as what is going to come in the future. So I will see you on the other side.